Hi friends, this is Vishnu here. Welcome to my channel Tips, Tricks and Concerns by Vishnu. So in this video, I will be dealing with the chart, okay, the chart on linkage and recombination, okay. It is a video which was requested by many students, okay, and that's why I am doing it uh, now. That is linkage and recombination by Morgan, okay. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, okay, I have put about uh, more than 30 videos on various different important topics uh, that can be asked for need, J, etc. So if you haven't seen that, please go watch it and come back, okay? So this video, I think it will be very useful for you, be it for board exams, NEET, etc. Okay, so let's not waste time and go to the video. So friends, this is a chart that is given near NCRT regarding the linkage and recombination. Okay, it was an experiment done by our Morgan and his uh, students, okay, his students on Drosophila melanogaster. Okay, so firstly, let's discuss about the first part, okay? And before that, you have to know what is linkage, okay? Linkage is nothing but, as the term indicates, okay, it is the linkage or the, it is the physical association between any two genes on the chromosome, okay? Between any two genes on the chromosome. And what is the other word recombination? Recombination is nothing but, we have, okay, many new varieties of individuals being formed as a result of this experiment, okay? That is having characteristics different from our parallel characteristics, okay? So those new individual organisms of the further generation of the F2 progeny especially, okay, which are having non-parallel characteristics are said to be the recompetence, okay? So now let's go to the chart, okay? Let's go to the first experiment, okay? So first, Morgan and his uh, students, okay, his uh, assistants considered two major characteristics that is yellow-bodied, white-eyed females and brown-bodied, red-eyed males, okay? So uh, he crossed uh, these two progenies, okay? And you must remember one thing that is here the brown color of the body as well as the red color of the eye is the most dominant characteristic, okay? That is why it is shown as wild type, okay? Wild means here it is dominant, okay? So uh, he has taken two homogeneous traits, okay, homogeneous uh, genotypes, okay. He then crossed it, he got the F1 progeny, that is a Y plus W and YW plus uh, female as well as a YW male progeny, okay. So he has got two, okay, and before that these colors, okay, the body color as well as the eye color were present on the X chromosome, which was already known by our Morgan, okay. And so um, he uh, crossed uh, further intercrossed this F1 progeny. Okay, that is uh, these two uh, first two uh, characteristic. Okay, that is the heterozygous. Okay, the heterozygous wild type female with the uh, homozygous male. Okay, that he got by uh, the first cross. Okay, so he intercrossed it, and what he then got was the F2 progeny. Okay, here is the linkage taking place. Okay, here is the importance of linkage occurring. That is. Here, what he got was that most of the individuals in the F2 progeny were of the parental characteristic, okay, be it male as well as female, both were of parental characteristic, okay. So, and very less percentage, that is 1.3 percentage only were of the uh, new type, okay, the recombinant type, that is non-parental characteristic. Why, okay, why that uh, difference occurred, okay. That's also explained by our Morgan, by the concept of this linkage. That is, he proposed that or he discovered that these two genes, okay, these two genes were present close to each other. That is, uh, that is the white, uh, the body color as well as the eye color were present very much close to each other and hence they were very much perfectly linked, okay. So much perfectly linked that they cannot be uh, broken away, okay, broken away during the crossing over process, okay. You know that crossover occurs in almost all, uh, all type of meiotic cell divisions. Uh, so it, uh, this is not actually taking place, okay. This is uh, this separation of uh, these genes is actually no, uh, not taking place to a much extent on these type of chromosomes, so that are on these type of genes which are closely linked, okay. I will explain it, okay. So for that, let me take a scale, okay? So this scale, okay, this 30 centimeter scale represents, okay, this 30 centimeter scale represents a chromosome of the parent, okay? The X chromosome of the parent, okay? And we have our, uh, one of the characteristics, say body color at one position, okay? At one position, okay? And say at the uh, two centimeter. While the other, that is the eye color was present at the 
uh, about 8 cm okay so they were very much close to each other so it's very difficult to break in between these two right we can easily break in the middle but it's very much difficult to break in between this small gap okay the same process okay the same process is taking place in case of a closely linked genes okay so these two genes are closely linked and the during the crossing over the separation is very much limited okay so what is seen is that they both are coming together during any process of crossing over okay the crossing over may take place but still the uh, combination okay they uh, they they might be coming exactly together and hence what happens uh, during the formation of the new progeny f2 progeny we will have mostly the parental characteristic individuals okay now then she performed another crossing which was taking the eye color as well as the wings okay the wing size as well as the characteristic okay as a characteristic to be noted okay so here what did we cross in between that is between the white and miniature wing females with the wild type males that is having a normal sized wing as well as a red eye okay he then intercrossed it and what he got was actually more number of uh, recombinant individuals than in the previous cross okay here also the parental combinations were more that is the, uh, the individuals with parental characteristics were more but the proportion of the recombinants has increased okay why so here we assume that suppose this is a chromosome of the f1 progeny okay and here actually the uh, genes that are considered say for example this is the eye color okay and it is located at the second position while the other is located at the uh, 28th position okay 28 centimeter that is uh, it is a 30 centimeter scale so it's very much easy to break the in between right so the crossing over can uh, take place in such a way that the separation of these genes also take place very easily okay so, uh, this is because these are not linked and that was the reason for the, the increased percentage of the recombinants of the non parallel characteristic that is 37.2 percentage in this cross okay than our 1.3 percentage in the previous cross where the two genes were more linked okay so what is the result that you should understand if two genes are closely linked then uh, lesser number of or lesser proportion of recombinants while if they are not uh, loosely linked okay not closely linked then the proportion of recombinants will be increased okay here i will give you two bonus tips that is bonus extra points that is uh, linkage okay regarding the linkage uh, if we are asked about the linkage group okay it is an extra point it is a uh, if you are asked about the linkage group then what you should understand is that it is nothing but the genes on a chromosome okay it refers to the genes on a chromosome and if you are asked the maximum number of linkage groups it, it indicates just the haploid number of chromosomes in a particular uh, individual okay for example uh, in peas it's, it is 7 and in bacteria it is almost 1 okay and another important point is that linkage is thus an exception for our law of independent assortment okay so if we have drawn uh, this by using just a punnett square then actually you you are actually uh, assuming that each of these genotypes okay each of the progeny genotypes are having equal priority okay equal proportions but they are not okay they are not in reality thus it is an exception for our law of independent assortment okay also friends there is another important point to be noted that is regarding alfred student okay that is uh, morgan student okay what did he do he did the genetic mapping that is he mapped the position of the genes on a chromosome okay how did he map that is by using the frequency of the recombination okay the frequencies of recombination that is the results of the experiments of morgan on linkage and recombination as a basis for what for the distance between each of the gene pairs okay so then he mapped the position of the genes on a chromosome and hence his method of uh, mapping the genes okay on a chromosome was taken as the basis for our human genome project too that is even the sequencing of our human genome okay so that is the importance of Alfred Stutevent, okay? Alfred Stutevent's contribution, okay? It is a very important point and has been asked in some examination. That is, genetic mapping was introduced by Alfred Stutevent, okay? So, I hope you have very well understood the concept behind the linkage and recombination and the chart, okay? So, if you have understood the concept, 
please uh, like the video and also subscribe to my channel okay so i will be back with more such good videos till then bye bye